honestly, I remember everything. We had a lot of fun and we had, you know, fun, cute pictures from it and we were there all day and we decided to um, drive back that night. It was just a day trip and I realized that they were coming straight towards us. It was a Memorial Day weekend. 22 year old Lancy Robbins day trip with her boyfriend ended in the worst possible way with both of them in the hospital. They were hit head on on Highway 20 near Fairfield on their way home from a fishing trip at Stanley Lake. Lancy had to be life flooded due to the severity of her injuries and what happened in the weeks to come and her determination to recover inspired so many people in the community. Our Maggie O'Meara has Lancy's story about silver linings in tonight's Seven's Hero. We're just on the straight stretch of road and there's kind of a curve up ahead and I remember seeing headlights. The drive home from a fishing trip turned dangerous quickly for Lancy Robbins and her boyfriend, Andrew Leon. Just that sinking feeling just came like, like there's nothing I can do, they're gonna hit us. The Boise couple was alive, but severely injured, trapped in their truck. And I was awake through all of it. Andrew, he went unconscious, hit his head, and just the steering wheel was pressed like right up against my chest and everything was just smashed in. That's when the pain set in and I realized that my legs were, they were smashed. I just remember sitting in the car like, is help ever gonna come? You know, am I ever gonna be okay? Help did come. Lancy was life flighted to the hospital. Yeah, I was in Alphonsus. Um, I was there for three weeks. Three weeks of grueling surgery and physical therapy to help her walk again. Her boyfriend, Andrew, was also in the hospital recovering from his injuries. So my physical therapist had to bribe me sometimes to do physical therapy. And so one time they bribed me that if I got in the wheelchair, then I could go up to Andrew's room and go see him. And something wonderful happened here in a hospital room at St. Al's. Andrew proposed. It was just really a special moment just to see each other and you know, be like, we're alive, I still have you. And, um, you know, we get to have a future together. Lancy started documenting her recovery in videos that she called Silver Linings, and she posted them on Facebook. Yeah, I, I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna get strong again, you know, and I'm not gonna let this hold me back. Letting people know how I was doing and help me track my progress and realize that everything's gonna be okay and even help me share my thoughts and feelings what I was going through. It made me feel less alone. I'm just trying to uplift and motivate others as well that are experiencing hard things. Today has been a super awesome, super great day. I'm a little pooped right now, but that's because I've been working super hard to um, do my PT exercises. But little did Lancy know she was about to be challenged in a big way yet again. They noticed that my lymph nodes in my neck and stuff were really inflamed. While she was in the hospital, her doctors told her she had cancer. She was stunned. So he said, no, it's hard to tell you that um, your results came back and you're positive for um, not Hodgkin's lymphoma and you're stage two. Okay, like God, this is your will. I accept it, but I just ask that, you know, I at least get to keep Andrew kind of thing, you know, that I get to marry him and be with him. Obviously fulfilled that, that promise. Lancy and Andrew got married as soon as they could. After so much hard work and physical therapy, Lancy was able to walk down the aisle with a walker and her dad was right beside her. Sorry, it makes me a little emotional because it made that day so special and it was so perfect, even though, you know, I was, I had to use a walker and I had two boots on my legs and, and just to see Andrew there waiting for me is just special. It was all perfect and even the fact that I was injured, we were both injured, but we got to have that moment just made it so bittersweet and it's something that, you know, I'm never going to forget and it will just, I don't know, it's going to be a fun story to tell our kids. For the past few months, Lancy has been battling cancer with her loving husband by her side. We joke about it that, you know, usually people, you know, they get married and they have the happy honeymoon phase and then the hard times hit and we're like, well, we're just gonna get it all out now and then be able to enjoy the rest. Even in the hardest of times, there's always a silver lining. There's always some sort of blessing, some good positive thing, something you can learn. Lancy Robbins, Seven Zero.
Boy, you wow. talk about resilience. Yes. Oh my, Lancey's treatment is going very well, we're told. She hopes to be finished up with chemo just in time for Christmas. She's looking forward to a full recovery and being cancer free. For more on her incredible journey, go to the story on our website.